Dennis Nappy II with Service of Change, where we challenge reality, question which we've been taught in hopes of inspiring a new direction of thought to bring about change. On tonight's Daily Gnosis, we're continuing our exploration of the Gospel of Philip in the Nag Hammadi Library. I want to talk tonight about a section called Sowing and Reaping. It's a metaphor talking about the seasons and when a farmer plants and when he reaps the rewards of his hard work throughout the seasons. And I'm going to read what it says here and break it down. It starts off, Whoever sows in winter reaps in summer. Winter is the world. Summer is the other aeon, the eternal realm. Now we've talked about uh, the metaphor of, of the aeons. The aeons seem to be some sort of the ionic copies, as we talked about in a previous episode, were virtual realities. There are other alternate realities for us here. So an aeon, uh, there's other explanations of what it is, but it can also be some type of realm for us to go to here. If you're saying winter is the world, winter would be the physical existence, the reality that we're currently in. Summer is the other aeon. That's the eternal realm. That's where we go afterwards when we leave this physical plane. It continues, let's sow in the world to reap in summer, meaning let us prepare in the physical world to reap the benefits and rewards of the growth of our efforts in the summer, in the other realm. And for this reason, we should not pray in winter. Now, this is a little bit confusing, at least for me. The way I interpret that is we can't fully access the other aeon and reap the benefits of that other world until we have crossed over. And that doesn't mean let's go prematurely. There's some kind of growth, there's some kind of nurturing that we need to have here in this physical realm that we need to make sure we achieve in order order to make the benefits tangible in the other aeon in the summer. It continues on, from winter comes summer. If someone reaps in winter, the person will not really reap, but will pull out young plants, and such do not produce a crop. That person's field is barren, not only now, but also on the Sabbath. So what that's saying is if we try to do things too soon, if we try to access that other realm in ways that we're not prepared for, then we have a barren field. We won't be ready to experience and access that and so we need to continue as I would say do that inner work in the physical get those experiences understand them listen to your heart let it guide you don't forget to check out serviceofchange.com where we have other great content and information the secret podcast comes out every single Saturday this week we're going to be exploring some really uh, some new information on the Orlando or the Fort Lauderdale shooting Um, Really good stuff here. It ties into the mind control stuff that I've been looking at over the past few months. Go back, check the archives at serviceofchange.com or check the SoundCloud and and iTunes archives as well for our shows on mind control and that patented technology. It will not disappoint you. As always, sign up for the secret newsletter as well at serviceofchange.com. You'll get free access to read my free ebook. I am human and we are not who we think we are. True words have never been spoken. Thanks for listening, friends. (laughs) 